Nearly two years after the release of Fire Emblem Three Houses, a new glitch was discovered. This major piece of spaghetti code allows you to loop a month over and over and milk the rewards for all that they're worth. My name is Mecca, and in this video, I'm going to explain how it's done. First of all though, I just want to give credit to Three Houses speedrunner Wronghouse for discovering the bug, and speedrunner Claris for testing it, and also thanks to both Claris and Kirby Masta for helping me with the script for this video. Now let's go ahead and see it in action. To use this glitch, first you have to be on a month where the mission date is not all the way at the end of a month, or else it won't work. Because of that, the earliest chapter you can perform this glitch on is chapter 4, which takes place during the 7th month, called Blue Sea Moon. The mission happens on the 26th, but the Blue Sea Moon lasts 31 days. Make sure you're on the calendar screen. Doesn't matter if you're halfway through the month or only at the beginning, as long as you're not on the final free day prior to the mission, or on the mission day itself. Press left or right and then navigate your cursor to the mission date and press A. You will get the option to skip to date. Move your cursor to this option, but don't press A yet. Instead, press and hold right and then press A. If done correctly, your cursor should jump to a date past the mission date. Then press A again and skip the date past the mission. At first it looks like everything is as normal, Byleth runs around on the calendar and events start playing out. Byleth will teach students, answer their questions, celebrate birthdays and holidays, and so on. But then, when you get past the mission date, it gets funky. She will keep running until the month has ended and then appear at the start, and the month will start all over again. You even get a gold handout from the start of the month. As far as the game knows, everything you did this month happened, but you can do it all again and reap all the benefits. Do note, however, that each quest can only be done one time, no matter how many times you loop the month. So unfortunately, you can only get one birthday present. The shop doesn't restock limited items after you buy them all, you cannot pick different students for the goddess tower scene, and most important of all, you only get to select one dancer for the white Heron Cup, so no army of dancers. You can watch these scenes on repeat, but there are no gameplay benefits. If the glitch doesn't work in one try, it might not be your fault. This glitch is pretty inconsistent. Experienced speedrunners like Claris are reporting that it simply doesn't always work, and if anyone knows about precise inputs, it's speedrunners. I had a go at this myself and it works roughly every two or three tries for me. So far, people have found one way to tell if it's going to work. Check the left side of the screen where the events of the day you're going to skip to are displayed. If it's empty, you're usually good, since the glitch usually tries to skip to an empty date. Exceptions being days with events that happen past the mission dates, such as Saint Keyhole Day on the Crimson Flower route. If it is displaying events of the mission date, press B and then try again. If you do manage to pull the loop off once, I definitely do recommend saving, because if the glitch fails and you end up on the mission day, which has happened to me before, then there is no way to try again since the skip option is just gone. This glitch is definitely super funny to try at least once, because it results in hilariously high weapon ranks really quickly, especially if you're like me and you do it on New Game Plus with normal mode, but it could also make your life easier in harder difficulties. I don't think it impacts anything with regards to discussions of optimal play, nor do I think it's a viable strategy for speedruns, it's just one more funny thing you can do in this obviously broken game. One thing I do appreciate it for is making it easier to set up characters for New Game Plus files, as it makes it really easy to farm skill ranks as well as support points, so that's what I recommend using it for. If the developers catch wind of this, they might patch it out, though they haven't patched out bugs in a long while, and I honestly don't think they care enough, but just in case, I do recommend you mess around with it ASAP because you don't want to miss out. Have fun, and let me know your findings in the comments down below. Peace.